2018 Friday. Today is day two or day three? Day two. Day two of inpatient. This 15 year old male neutered cocker spaniel had about 40 watts and a ear tumor. And this is the post op video. As you can see, the, the skin tumors around 40 have been excised using electricity. And uh, they, they, really, they are really a lot now they are all over the body okay we look at the most important one is actually the right upper lip no the the, the what the right upper lip that 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 one will cause bleeding so i had to uh, excise it now there's a there's a hole there as you can see point 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 it finger point it huh? yeah okay that is one and then above the nose uh, below the no nostril there's one what remove also then uh, on, on this side some more, where, where are the other warts? On the face, below the neck, you can see, below the neck, uh, you can see really some more, they are stitched up already, uh, some more facing me, the neck. Uh. So there are quite a few areas, totaling about 40 warts. You can see the stitch up areas on the neck, okay, then further down. Okay, we look at the body, the chest, uh, just, just show a few of the... Uh, some are stitched up, some we don't need to stitch up because they're quite small. Uh, electricity is very useful because you don't need to cut. Uh, some, of, some of the leg. Okay, turn, turn the other side. Turn, turn the other side. Huh? So now we show the, the right side. The right side, you see the words removed. Let me answer, give me an answer. Okay, you can see. Okay, show the areas, stitch, stitch up areas. The ears. Okay, the words, uh, lift up the ear, you can see. There's really a lot of excision. Okay, it's about 10 here. Okay, then uh, the, the side, the, the chest. The chest. And uh, the owner was really, really concerned about all the work, so she had it done. Now this dog, see the gums, actually it's very pale. The anesthetic risk is very high because you can see the gums are pale. You see? And look at the teeth, the teeth had been scaled, dental skin had been done. Now the teeth, huh? they are no more tartar, it looks quite good. Okay? Now why I say the gums are pale, is by, by physical examination, but now it's not so pale because of the drip and the vitamins B's. Now we, we look at the other side, the right hand side. Now, you see how they, she handled the dog so that it, it wouldn't bite you. I see the gums are not so pale now, but the, see the teeth has been done already, the dentist, dentist getting done. And uh, so, this is a 15 year old. I see the, the ear tumor has been removed. The ear tumor has been removed. And uh, there's a bit of bleeding now. We cannot bandage up the whole ear because in case it rots, huh? Okay. Then now we see the blood test result. Bring, bring here. The blood test result. Now hematology, as you can see, uh, hemoglobin is low, 10 compared to 12, huh? Min minimum. And red blood cell is 4 compared to 5.5. So this anemia and the total white cell count is is also high. So 25 is above 17. 17 is the limit. It neutrophil is 84 percent. It should be normally 60 to 70 percent. So, so in conclusion, this dog actually had bacterial infection and uh, and uh, anemia. So actually, this is a very high anesthetic risk and uh, see the, the, the warts removed no, the warts there in the bottle in the bottle we just see turn this side how are you going to see that side I don't know and it's really a uh, surprise that this dog is still a, a, alive and uh, the surgery and anesthesia took about one and a half hours so so it is a uh, a happy outcome for the dog as well as the owner but uh, the best is not to not to uh, operate on the old dog with anemia this is for some reason that the owner 
uh, wanted it to be done and gave the anesthetic form, consent form. Yeah. So the dog should go home and uh, be given good food and uh, iron injection and vitamins. This ends the case.